Welcome to Midland High School's Virtual 2021 Award Night. I am Tracy Speaker Gerstheimer, Principal of Midland High School. I am honored to welcome you to this event where we will recognize the achievements of an outstanding group of students. This group of students are excellent in so many ways. They are academics, athletes, artists, performers, and journalists, just to name a few of their talents. Although it has been a challenging year, I appreciate you students. You have maintained your focus on what is important to you. Whether in school, face-to-face, -face, or behind a computer, you have not wavered. You are resilient, and I am proud of you. You are about to begin a new chapter in your life, an adventure. You will learn and grow more than you imagine in the next phase but the strong foundation you acquired with us at Midland High School will serve you well. You will look back at this chapter with pride and think, once a chemic, always a chemic. Thank you. My name is Kelly Bishop. I'm here to announce the Outstanding Art Student Award. The first person I would like to recognize out of two um, is going to be going to CMU in the fall, Fire Up Chips. Uh, he is going for business uh, and I'm hoping his art skills will serve him well in that area. Uh, I think he's thinking about majoring in business, maybe marketing, advertising, but I believe all those skills that he's learned in my class um, as an art student is going to serve him very well uh, with whatever he chooses to pursue. But this award, the first recognition, is going to Ryan Hampton. Thank you, Ryan. We're going to miss you this year. Um, it's been great having you in class the last three or four years, um, and we wish you congratulations. Thanks, Ryan. The second person uh, is going to be going to Kendall College of Art and Design. I believe he wants to maybe major in animation or um, some other kind of storyboarding with graphic design. Um, he's going to explore a little bit when he gets there, uh, but he is very excited. He has wonderful art skills. Um, he has just a way with drawing light and people and he he can do it in marker, he can do it in pencil, he can do it in um, oil paint. I mean, he's got a, just a wonderful range of skills that is going to serve him so well next year when he gets um, to Kendall. Uh, but the second um, recognition is going to Jake Ulrich. Um, we're going to miss you as well, Jake. Um, it's been wonderful having you this year. He's helped paint, I think, two or three out of the four murals in the hallways. Um, the last three years he's been here at Midland High, he did the mural in the office. Um, he's just on a roll, um, and I can't wait to see what what he what becomes of him and what he gets into in college. But um, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great time at college. And we're gonna miss you. Thanks, guys. Hi, my name is Kelly Murphy and my name is Becky Thomas King and we are here to award the exciting excellence in English award to a very special senior each year we select a senior based on submissions from the English department and we select a student who has not only demonstrated superior skills in reading writing critical thinking and speaking but also someone who has a passion for the written word and the books that we read Yes, so the student we've selected for the English award this year has all of these qualities, but also shares some of the characteristics of some of the strong female protagonists in books that we've studied. So like Marjan in Persepolis, this student is a deep critical thinker and very reflective. She had some of the most insightful thoughts about the text we've studied. Like Antigone, this student is principled and caring. 
She cares deeply about social rights issues and has also been awarded a Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Regional Scholarship Award for her efforts to improve racial harmony and social justice. And like Liesl Memminger from The Book Thief, this student is passionate about reading. She is an ardent supporter of diversity, equity, and inclusion and is a founding member of the MHS DEI Book Club. This student not only appreciates the literature and how it can take her to new worlds, but she also immerses us in different worlds throughout her drama performances. Whether she's portraying strong women from history, speaking up, or Eliza Doolittle, learning how to speak, or even one of Macbeth's witches, this student took us to another world with her. And while this isn't a skill that is specific for <laughs> excellence in English, this student is also also demonstrates excellence in crocheting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've already probably figured this out, but we are very happy to honor Emma Massey with the 2021 English Excellence Award. Woo! Yay! <laughs> I really don't know what I would do without our focused journalist of the year. For three years, she's been in the Midland High journalism program, most recently as the feature editor her senior year. And that means she can write pretty much any kind of story you would want her to write, and probably better than anybody else in the entire state of Michigan. And she has the awards to prove it. But she would probably be the last person in the world to brag about those kind of accomplishments because, well, she's just so humble and kind and gracious and just plain nice. I've had very few students who combine her incredible talent with such tremendous humility. And she always treats everything she does with compassion and warmth, as compassionate and warm as a hot cup of tea here at her favorite place, Grove Tea Lounge. She's gonna go on to do great things at Michigan State University, but she leaves an outstanding legacy behind on the focus staff I'm talking, of course, of Rachel Applegate. Go green. Well, it's been quite a journey for our winner of the Focus Advisors Award. She's been in the Focus newspaper program all four years of high school, including the last two years as an editor. Her junior year, she was the arts and entertainment editor of the Focus, and her senior year, she's been the editor-in-chief. And through some very challenging times, she's been an excellent editor and a reporter, a writer, and a leader of her peers. And she's always done it with an exceptional amount of grace and empathy, an excellent sense of humor, and a deep well of integrity. She loves hiking and exploring in the great outdoors, and she'll have an opportunity to do a lot of that next year when she's a student at Northern Michigan University. So I would like to give a hearty congratulations, as well as a fist bump, to Katie Quinn. Hi, I'm Ben Yonkin and I'm here to present this year's Excellence in Mathematics Award. When we select a winner for the Excellence in Mathematics Award each year, we are looking for a student who has a strong interest in the subject and a desire to continue studying mathematics in the future. That student should have completed at least calculus and shown additional interest in math or through other clubs or competitions we offer. In addition to rocking BC calculus this year, the student has demonstrated over and over an acute mathematical mind that doesn't shy away from difficult challenges. I've had the privilege of working with this student over the past four years. First, as a member of the MHS robotics team, where this student demonstrated incredible critical thinking and analytical skills to help, with, uh, help the team accomplish its goals. Fast forward to this year, I finally had the privilege to teach the student in the classroom. I am incredibly proud of this young individual and I know that MIT will be getting some of the best that we here at Midland High have to offer. It is my honor to present tonight's Excellence in Mathematics Award to the very talented Zoran Verlaga.
Hi, my name is Robert Fox, and it's my pleasure to present the Joseph Ramsayer Computer Science Award. This award is named after the very first computer science teacher at Midland High School and a man who was a mentor to me. It's given every year to a senior who's contributed the most to the computer science program over their career at Midland High. This year's winner is none other than Nathan Striebel. And Nathan is a young man who I've had the chance to get to know over the last three years. He's an extremely wise, dedicated, hardworking young man who has an incredible compassion and heart for others. And I've just so appreciated the opportunity to get to know him and get to know him well um, over this time. Nathan took computer science one and two his sophomore year, AP computer science his junior year, and throughout his three years has participated in every computer science related extracurricular activity that we have. He's uh, participated in competitions at Michigan State University, Eastern Michigan, and U of M Flint, and has been both a participant and a leader on our American Computer Science League team. In fact, speaking of American Computer Science League, that almost didn't happen this year due to COVID. I knew that we couldn't get together after school and practice, and so I was ready to scrap the whole thing. But Nathan wasn't having any of that, and he pushed me, and we uh, we ended up having a team, and um, he and a couple other uh, young men organized it and, and worked at it, and uh, I just found out yesterday that they made the finals, so they'll be competing um, against teams from all over the world, which is, which is really cool. I thought that wasn't going to happen this year, and, and thanks to Nathan, it did. So I can't think of a, of a young man who's more deserving this award, of this award, so Nathan, congratulations, and you deserve it. The Lindsay Shield Outstanding Female Science Student Award is presented thanks to the generosity of Sarah Lindsay, retired Midland Public Schools Science Coordinator, and Sue Shield, retired Midland High School Science Department Head. Both of these dedicated educators spent many years teaching and encouraging students to push themselves academically and to use science as a window to interpreting the world around them. In particular, they both demonstrated a strong conviction of the need to encourage young women to pursue careers in science. Not content to let their contributions to Midland High Science end with their retirements, these two educators established this award as a means to continue supporting young women who have shown dedication towards science and who intend on pursuing science studies at the college level. This year's winner certainly embodies the desire to succeed in science. She has tackled many of our most challenging science courses, including accelerated first year classes, followed by IB AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and IB Organic Chemistry. When faced with challenges, she responded with a determined attitude, a positive outlook, a willingness to take risks, and a desire to learn information well beyond the superficial level. She is also a very well-rounded student who has participated in athletics and volunteer groups here at Midland High. This young lady has more than embodied all of the positive attributes that Sarah and Sue emphasized during their education careers. I'm certain that both of them would be very pleased to recognize Kimberly Wiggins with this year's scholarship award. Congratulations, Kimmy. The Dershnaw Physics Award is one of the great traditions of Midland High in recognizing excellence in academics. This scholarship recognizing an outstanding physics student has been given annually for over 50 years in honor of E.L. Dershnaw, former physics teacher at Midland High School. This year's recipient has been described by Mr. Fawcett as a hardworking, intelligent, and dependable student who goes well above the expected effort and learns the material well beyond a superficial level. He is an enthusiastic learner who relishes taking on challenges. This year's recipient has not only demonstrated talents in physics, but has also earned recognitions in other subject areas, including in chemistry. He's been described as an excellent classmate who is very willing to help others to learn complex material. The Dershnaw family and the Midland High Science Department are very pleased to recognize Nathan Striebel at this year's Dershnaw Physics Award recipient. Congratulations, Nathan.
The Midland High School Outstanding Science Student Award is given each year to a graduating senior who has demonstrated excellence in and enthusiasm for the study of science. This year's recipient has challenged themselves by taking accelerated courses in biology, chemistry, and physics, and then going on to take IB and AP level coursework in biology and chemistry. Throughout her entire time here, this individual has gone above and beyond in her work ethic, as well as her interest in the study of science. It can truly be said that she has gone above and beyond and done an excellent job while here at Midland High. In addition to the personal plaque that will be presented, there will also be a permanent plaque here at Midland High that will have her name engraved on it. The Midland High Science Department is pleased to recognize Kara Gallagher as this year's outstanding science student. Congratulations, Kara. Imagine there's a $500 award for pursuing a degree in the social studies or a related field. It's easy if you try. The Chester Cones Memorial Award, above us, named after a longtime social studies teacher at Midland High, retired in 1967. Imagine all the people who could have won this award. Imagine there's a student who is one of the best academic writers I've had. It isn't hard to do. Nothing she went to to learn, and plays the French horn, too. Imagine double majoring in Spanish and political science, living life at North Central College in Illinois. You may say she's a dreamer, but she's not the only one. This student hopes someday to be a social justice lawyer, and the world will be a better place for her passion. Imagine all the people sharing the Cones Memorial Award of $500. But in this case, there's only one, Libby Gardner. Maybe in our world, there lives a happy little tree over there. Oh, hello, I'm John Mulvaney, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 version of the Senior Award Ceremony. If you had clicked this presentation by mistake, just remember, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. I hope you don't mind if I finish this real quick while I'm talking to you. If this is your first time with us, allow me to extend a personal invitation for you to get your noisemakers and your party hats and celebrate along with us for each award. And if you've been with us before, please allow me to thank you for joining us for another series of Senior Award presentations. I think there's an award winner and an artist hidden at the bottom of every single one of us. But I'm actually a professional social studies teacher and I'm presenting the Excellence in Social Studies Award in which the Midland High School Social Studies Department honors a graduating senior who has fulfilled the criteria for this award, which include excellent academic accomplishment, service to Midland High, leadership, community service, and exemplary character. This year's winner has shown a genuine interest in the social studies, not just by completing his homework, but contributing enthusiastically to class by fully engaging with all of my to what extent questions. I taught this student to critically think using questions like these. And guess what? Now he asks the best darn to what extent questions in the school. It's so important to do something every day that will make you happy. And this year's winner has many interests. He is an award-winning artist, spending two years creating a unique portfolio of his work. He's played Kevin football for four years and has complete, competed and been victorious at all levels of business professionals of America. 
he has decided to study business at Central Michigan University, where he has been awarded a Centralis Scholarship. I hope he has a chance to continue his interest in social studies and build on his already excellent knowledge. No matter what his final painting looks like, isn't it fantastic that you can change your mind and create all these happy things? All right, that should do about do it. So, without further ado, I'm proud to present to you Ryan Hampton as the winner of the 2021 Excellence in Social Studies Award. And remember, there's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. Hi, I'm Amy Rankin and I'm the CAS coordinator for Midland High School. Everyone's familiar with the IB diploma program with its rigorous course of study, but not everyone is as aware of CAS, which is an integral part of the IB diploma program. CAS stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service, and it encourages students to be more well-rounded, something that can often be lacking in very ac heavy academic course loads. So during the course of 18 months, students engage in uh, creative experiences, active experiences, and service-oriented experiences. And in addition, they have a uh, project that they complete that is related to creativity, activity, or service. And the winner of this year's IB CAS Award engaged in a project that is both creative and service-oriented. During the quarantine, she said she felt trapped in her house, and her heart went out to those people who uh, were trapped in their own houses because of quarantine, and she started thinking and reflecting, which is what we want people to do in the CAS program, to be uh, reflective. Um, she started thinking about essential workers and people who had to go to work every day, and some of the feelings that they may have faced having to be out in this unknown uh, epidemic that we were all experiencing. So she wanted to help those um, who may have felt trapped as well, in addition to honoring those who are on the front lines of fighting the coronavirus. So uh, what she did was to come up with some sketches of occupations that represented occupations of people who were frontline workers. She had those um, digitally uh, made into stickers, and then she sold those stickers um, and donated the proceeds from the stickers that she had designed herself to both um, Partners in Health and Feeding America. This is a fantastic project that encompasses everything that we want uh, for a student who's engaging in the CAS program. Someone um, who is being reflective and looking to serve others while being creative. And so for all of these reasons, Evie Lundstedt is the most deserving winner of the IB CAS Award for Midland High 2021. Hi. Learning a second language requires patience, curiosity, and dedication. And the winner of the 2021 Excellence in French Award certainly embodies all of these qualities. Patience, because she knew she might have to read a text two or even three times before she would understand fully what she was reading. Curiosity, because she loved learning about other cultures and always displayed that love and her excitement to talk about them in class. Dedication, because she stuck with the language. Not only has she connected with native speakers living in France to improve her language skills, but she is the only member of this year's senior class to stick it out and take six years of French. So for her patience, her curiosity, and dedication to the French language, Felicia Mori is the most deserving 2021 winner of the Excellence in French Award. Learning
The recipient of the Spanish award this year truly stands out. Nicole took the unusual step of working with a friend all summer in order to test out of Spanish 3 so that she could take Spanish 4 in our IB Spanish class. This is evidence of what a hardworking student she is. I am very glad she joined the class and I am sorry I only get to have her as a student for one year. Nicole has always gone above and beyond. As an example, she chose one day every week where she would only speak in Spanish from bell to bell no matter what, and she stuck to it every time. There are many qualities that make this student outstanding, but I would like to highlight her kindness. She was always willing to help other students who were struggling with any subject. Midland High is lucky to claim her as a chemic. I am very pleased to present this year's Spanish award to Nicole James. Hello, welcome to my classroom. This is where the magic happens. The yearbook magic, that is. But the two staff members that we're honoring here tonight already know that because they have been on staff not one, not two, not three, but all four years of their high school career. And that is pretty unprecedented. We live in unprecedented times right now. That's what we've been told. And these two young women, these two members of your graduating class, have documented the ups, the downs, they've documented what has happened, and they've documented what we wanted to have happened this year. That can only be accomplished with a very specific goal in mind of having the best yearbook ever. And this year's book is amazing. When you get it in August, you're going to understand why Gabby Roan and Juliana Peck are most deservedly the recipients of the 2021 Excellence in Yearbook Award. They have dedicated their four years of high school to taking photos, capturing events, working on spreads, layout and design, interviewing people, writing captions, writing copy, and I am going to miss them a lot next year. They have been role models for younger staff members, showing them what it takes to create a fabulous yearbook. And it's a lot of time, it's a lot of effort to making sure everything looks just right, the best that we possibly can. Gabby and Juliana, you are leaving a legacy behind in this room. You are leaving a legacy in all four of the yearbooks that you've been a part of. And so on behalf of the students who will look at this yearbook in August, and on behalf of anybody who will look at this yearbook in the future, I thank you. Tiny Kiker Award for the band students was uh, given in memory of a student who was in band at Midland High School between 1983 and 1986. She went to the University of Michigan and she passed away from Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome Type 4 in 1989. Uh, her family and friends set up uh, an award to honor her memory and to um, award someone who was dedicated and hardworking and wonderful to a friend to everyone, uh, just a, you know, a wonderful student. And that student needed to be going to U University of Michigan. Uh, this year's Heine Kiker Award uh, is going to Kara Gallagher. Kara, Kara Gallagher is an amazing musician and a wonderful leader. She's a fantastic student in our band and she's very, very deserving of the Heine Kiker Award. Hello, my name is Anna Mamassian. I am the Director of Orchestras here at Midland High School. I am here to present the National School Orchestra Award. This award goes to a senior who exhibits excellence in performance, 
commitment to musical growth and commitment to and the endeavors of the orchestras above and beyond the daily rehearsal requirements. This award is voted upon by their peers. This year's recipient has been a member of both concert and symphony orchestra throughout their high school career. This year, they are enrolled in both simultaneously. They have also served as section leader and student librarian working rigorously to prepare their own performance material, sectional preparation, and preparing music for handout, site reading, and filing. Additionally, they have volunteered their time after school with younger orchestra members for tutoring sessions and audition preparation. Marlo Huff truly goes the extra mile every day for the orchestra program and its members. Thank you for all that you do to help make our orchestra successful. Congratulations, Marlo Huff. The Ted Nicholson Award is uh, the band award for the most outstanding band students in the, in the band program. And we've had multiple students in the past, and once again, we have multiple students receiving this award. Ted Nicholson was the very first band director uh, here at Midland High School, and he started the band program in 1929. That award was created by his ex-students to award, uh, to give the most, uh, award to the most outstanding band students. The award recipients this year are Nicole James, Trinity Thomas, Jillian Klein, Natalie Hofer, and Abby Markle. And all of those students are incredible in everything they did. Four of them are drum majors. One was an incredible section leader and just took so much time. All of the students have put so much extra time in, in for our other students in the band program. We're thrilled to give the, the Ted Nichols Award to these five students. Hello, I'm Eric Albright, Athletic Director of Midland High School, and I'm here today to award the Gilbert Curry and Bob Stoppard Award to the senior boy who is a judge by the Midland High School athletic staff for making the greatest contribution to the athletic program. I'm pleased to announce that Al Monty is our award winner this year. Alex has been a uh, stalwart uh, fixture at Midland High School, uh, basketball, football, baseball, and of course our unified basketball team have really appreciated his efforts over the last four years. He's going to be missed. He's been a great chemic, and we look forward to seeing him at Hope College uh, being the best Elmont he can. The Tom Heiser Award every year is given to an outstanding student, not only in academics, but athletics as well. This year's winner is a member of the Key Club, the Business Professionals of America, the National Honor Society, the Student Council and Student Leadership, was also a captain of both lacrosse and football, and a Michigan High School Athletic Association finalist for Scholar Athlete. Congratulations to Chase Mahabir. Hello, uh, Mike Donovan here for Midland High Wrestling. Um, I'm here this evening to present the Tom Stern Award. Um, the Tom Stern Award is a scholarship of up to $1,000 given to a four-year wrestler uh, named after uh, Midland High's legendary coach, Tom Stern, uh, who led the program for over 20 years. In his career as coach, Tom Stern uh, amassed over 350 wins. Uh, he was two-time Saginaw Valley League champion. Um, Tom teams also won numerous district titles and ultimately won the 2009 regional title, still the only regional title in program history. Uh, Tom was recently named and honored by being enshrined in the Midland County Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, Coach Stern, though, was known mostly uh, for the relationships that he formed with his athletes, um, the way that he demonstrated leadership and brought the best out of his athletes, the way that he accepted never anything less than their best effort, 
um, but was also the the shoulder that um, sometimes athletes need. And it's, it's something that uh, his alumni that he that competed for him for years still to this day when I run into some um, will always talk about what Coach Stern meant to them. Um, so this award this evening is given to not necessarily just somebody who accomplished a lot in their career as a wrestler, uh, but also was somebody who demonstrated a lot of the same characteristics that uh, Coach Stern did and continued the, the culture of chemic wrestling in a positive way. Um, this evening, it is my pleasure to honor Connor Shelb um, with the Tom Stern Award. And uh, a little bit about Connor. Um, as a uh, athlete, Connor amassed over 100 wins in his career, was a three-time regional qualifier, uh, was a one-time state qualifier, and recently, combined with his work in the classroom, was named to the academic all-state team. Uh, Connor has been one of the fearless leaders of our program for several years, and in the last four years, we've seen one of the best stretches um, of you know, wins and losses and everything else in the program's history. And a lot of that is due to the way that Connor has interacted and competed, um, but the type of teammate that Connor has been as well. Uh, as a role model, um, Connor is somebody that uh, I've admired as a coach for the way that he's overcome adversity um, and that he's never lost sight of the big picture, um, even when he faces short-term disappointments. Um, and some of them were, were pretty significant, uh, but he kept pushing forward and has always um, kept his eye on what the big picture was there. Um, Connor came in as a freshman weighing about 80 pounds. Um, and for the first two years of high school, I uh, had a lot of situations where he knew he was a better wrestler. He knew he did what it took to win, um, but his size just simply prevented that. With the smallest weight class in wrestling being 103 pounds, um, he often found himself uh, outsized. Not outmatched, but just outsized. Um, and that can be very frustrating, but Connor took it in stride and was never let him break him and consistently worked to improve. Um, and he did. And he's going to end his career as one of the most successful chemic wrestlers in history. Uh, Connor, um, one, one story that stands out to me is uh, the amount of work that he put in the offseason. And, and one time um, I found out he, he'd gone down to a soccer tournament in, in Indiana. And he had, they got there Friday night uh, for a tournament over the weekend. And he took it upon himself to find a wrestling tournament in the area to go compete in. And he found one for the Friday night. Um, so when, when so many athletes in this sport uh, find reasons not to do the off season stuff, uh, Connor was going out, out of state, out of his comfort zone and finding an opportunity to get himself a match and get himself um, better for the weekend. So uh, that's a story that's always stuck out with me. And it's just a, a small encapsulation of the type of athlete um, and the type of drive that Connor had. Uh, Connor will be continuing his education at Adrian College next year um, and pursuing a degree in criminal justice. Uh, he's also going to be continuing his wrestling career there as well, um, where they are very lucky to have him. Um, and their coaches should be excited to work with them and have somebody like that in their program. Um, I know us chemic wrestlers were absolutely honored to have um, him represent us each and every year um, in the fashion that he did. So Connor um, is, you know, absolutely deserving of this award, and it's my pleasure to present Connor Shell with the Tom Stern Award in 2021. Good evening, everyone. My name is Diane Segnet, and it's my honor and privilege to present this year's Diane Segnet Female Athlete Award. This award is given to a senior girl judged by the Midland High coaching staff who has made the greatest contribution to our athletic program with her ability, leadership, and citizenship. I'm very humbled to be presenting the award this year and also very excited. A few qualities that describe the winner are determination. This young lady has the determination to succeed, which is very valuable in sports and in life. Doesn't give up, no matter how hard it seems at some points. Passion. She is very passionate about all three of her high school sports that she played. Many people say that passion 
is the number one key quality that, has, that makes athletes succeed. She combines her head with her heart and believes anything is possible. Dedication. She's dedicated working out year-round for all of her sports, oftentimes doing two sports during one season, but always putting her high school sport first. Drive. She has the drive to work harder than anyone else on the team and the drive to succeed to win. Commitment. She's committed to all three of her high school sports that she played. Many summers she has spent the same day playing basketball, volleyball, and running track. Humility. She knows that there's always room for improvement, and this will only happen with more training, more sweat, and more heart. Time management. She has made time to go to practice, play on travel teams, study, and be involved in school activities such as National Honor Society and maintain a fantastic 4.5 GPA. And of course, most important in my eyes is she has chemic pride. Chemics never give up, have pride in their school and sports, and have the will and desire to win. She has all of these. This athlete is going to continue her track career at Saginaw Valley State University. Please join me in acknowledging this year's well-deserved winner, the Diane Sagna Female Athlete Award to Olivia Carpenter. Good evening, everyone. My name is The Chemic Pride Award is named after Charles Straczynski, an amazing physics teacher and coach at Midland High School from 1972 to 1997. Charles Straczynski went by Triz. Teachers called him Triz. His students called him Triz. Besides being an inspirational teacher, coach, and mentor to some of us, uh, he also did a few things that anyone who went to Midland High would recognize. When you hear the Chemic Pride motto, Chemic Pride, that's Triz. When you see the Chemic logo, that's Triz. When Triz passed away after just 25 years of teaching at Midland High School, it devastated all of us. And his family started this scholarship and award in his honor to recognize and reward students who had the same passion for being a great chemic. When a group of teachers uh, who knew worked closely with Triz saw this year's impressive list of nominees, one student stood out in terms of who Triz would say, that person needs to get the Chemic Pride Award. So who is this person? who has the same passion for Midland High School as Triz did, who believes just like Triz did in the importance of participation, teamwork, hard work, respect for others, and challenging of oneself. Chase Mahabir. Chase Mahabir is this year's Charles Straczynski Scholarship Chemic Pride Award winner. He will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship and have his name placed on a plaque in Eyeball Alley. I think right now, Chase, I'm supposed to list all the accomplishments you had in your four years in Midland High School, and I'm sorry to you, I'm sorry to your family, I'm not going to do that. Let's just say it's an impressive list. Uh, if you've ever worked with Chase, you know how much he loves Midland High School, you know how hard he works, and you know how great of a person he is. So congratulations, Chase Mahabir. Uh, Triz would want me to say this. I'm going to say it in my best impression of him. He would want me to tell you, thanks for being a comic. Robert C. Sabrin was the director of choirs at Midland High School for 30 years. During his time as conductor of the Midland High Chorus and Midland High Meister Singers, Bob and his students earned a reputation for musical excellence. Bob's impact on choral music reached beyond the walls of Midland High to the communities and choirs statewide. This impact is still evident to this day. The Robert C. Sabrin Vocal Music Award is a merit-based award given annually to a Midland High senior who best exemplifies Bob's commitment to musical excellence. This year's recipient has exhibited a high level of musical excellence for years. The student has performed with the MHS bands, has graced our theatrical stage many times, and has been a leader in the Meister Singers. Please join me in congratulating Emma Massey.
Hello, I'm Monique Albright, and I'm honored to be presenting the Alan Davis Groom Award. Alan Groom is a former chemic who attended Midland High School in the 1960s. In 1969, he gave his life while fighting for our country in Vietnam. Since the 1970s, his parents have been giving a scholarship to an exemplary leader at Midland High School. This year's recipient is Melina Real. Melina is an exceptional junior student in the area of service and leadership. I have been honored to work with Melina over the last two years in leadership class. When she first came to me, she came with an incredible uh, history of service. She came to Midland High School as an eighth grader, providing more time to the community than any student I've seen, even as a senior in high school. Melina gives of her whole self when she serves. She does so not to fill a resume. She does it because she wants to better our community and better the lives of those around her. Melina is incredibly authentic. She is kind. She is sincere to the core. I am so honored and pleased to be presenting this to Melina Real. Hello, I'm French and geoscience teacher, Amy Rankin, and I'm one of the people who helped to bring the Seal of Biliteracy to Midland Public Schools. The Michigan Seal of Biliteracy recognizes high school graduates who exhibit proficiency in English and one other world language. This seal provides employers with a means of identifying individuals with strong language and biliteracy skills. It also allows colleges and universities a way to recognize applicants' language abilities in both the admissions process and placement process in their second language programs. In order to earn the seal of biliteracy, students must meet the graduation requirements set forth by the state of Michigan. And in addition, they must uh, take a proficiency test, reaching a level of intermediate mid on that proficiency test in the language other than English. In the case of the class of 2021, these students demonstrated proficiency in French or Spanish by taking the International Baccalaureate French or Spanish tests in the spring of 2020. We wish these students future success and in their continued language acquisition. Hi everyone, this is Jessica Harold, one of the school counselors. Haley Stepanek, school counselor. And Missy Tyson. All right, we're going to be announcing um, the King's Daughters and Sons Scholarship. Um, there is going to be three nominations for this scholarship. They are going to be winning um, an amount of $1,500 each to three graduating seniors. These students have been accepted to an accredited college or university, including a trade or technical school. Um, these um, students have been qualified um, because they have shown scholastic achievement and demonstrated qualities of leadership, character, and service to their community. I am happy to announce Jordan um, Vitan Gruber. I'm happy to announce Emma Massey. And Taylor Sanborn. Congratulations! Yay! Yay! Hello, I am Jessica Harold. I am one of the school counselors. I will be announcing the National Merit Scholarship. You may have heard of the PSAT, but you may be surprised to know that the exam's full name is PSAT NMSQT, the Preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. The program itself began in 1955 to acknowledge and reward high achieving students in standardized testing. These days, several million students enter each year. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic scholarship competition that awards merit-based scholarships to the highest performers on the PSAT. 
Each October, juniors take the PSAT at school and those test results are sent to the NMSC for consideration. Recognition from the National Merit Scholarship Corporation means that students may become eligible for scholarships from participating universities and corporations. And I'm happy to announce that senior Zoran Berlanga will be receiving the National Merit Scholarship. Congratulations, Zoran. Hi, my name is Katie Stearns, and I'm an English teacher here at Midland High School and also a 1989 Kemet grad. I'm honored to present the 2021 Anita Giopalmi Memorial Scholarship. Anita and I were classmates and teammates at Northeast and Midland High School, graduating together in 89. We then attended Michigan State University and even had a class together. Anita was kind, funny, and had a contagious laugh. She loved Midland High and Michigan State. Sadly, Anita passed away at the age of 24 from cystic fibrosis, leaving a hole in the Midland High class of 89 and the MSU class of 93. However, her kind spirit lives on through this important scholarship. This year's recipient will attend Michigan State, and if her letter represents half of her enthusiasm, she is an awesome chemic and will be an amazing Spartan. I am honored to present the Anita Giapalmi Memorial Scholarship to Ms. Juliana Thompson. Juliana was a JV and varsity cheerleader for four years, overcoming injury in order to compete in her final year. Her coach, Coach Ben, shared that, quote, Juliana is a model for Chemic Pride. She not only is an exceptional athlete, she is a model student and more deserving than any athlete he coached to receive this honor, unquote. Juliana, congratulations and good luck at Michigan State. Hi. Hi, I'm Suzanne Real, Jen Sisko's sister. This is our seventh year giving the All In Award, which is a partnership between the Jennifer Turner Sisko Memorial Fund and Midland High. Together, we started the All In for Kemet Pride fundraising event. This year's event will be held Monday, August 9th at the Midland Country Club and is open to all Kemet fans. Details will be announced soon and shared in the school newsletter and on the All In for Kemet Pride Facebook page. Our winning student receives a $1,000 scholarship to the college of their choice and has the opportunity to select a department to receive a $1,500 award. All In for Kemet Pride also awards multiple teacher grants each year and started the Midland High Special Projects Fund. So seniors, we have been grateful to enhance your experience at Midland High through the many special gifts purchased through these funds. And even though you didn't have the chance to walk the halls and be greeted by Mrs. Sisko's big smile, you have had the opportunity to experience her Sisko strong All In spirit, which is one of unconditional Kemet Pride enthusiasm for Midland High and love for her students. She was able to give so much to Midland High because of Midland, because of everything Midland High gave her in return. She was all in because Midland High inspired her to be. So our winner each year is someone who has made the most of what Midland High has to offer, who is involved, who takes initiative, and who helps others. It is someone who has walked the halls of Midland High with an infectious all-in spirit of their own. And now I'll hand this off to Mrs. Hutchinson to announce this year's winner. It's Amy Hutchinson and I'm a retired teacher administrator from Midland High School. One of the things I miss most about uh, Midland High is, is meeting students such as this year's winner of the Jennifer Turner Sisko All In for Chemic Pride Award. This year's winner of the Sis Jennifer Turner Sisko Memorial Scholarship is Taylor Sanborn. And some of the qualities that I know Taylor to have, even though I don't know her personally, include that she is selfless, inspirational, giving and motivational. Taylor is the student council and student body president and has done numerous activities for the staff and students at the school uh, under that leadership. She is an advocate of the annual 
one billion rising global campaign that has the goal of eliminating violence against women. Taylor has also been one of the founding members of the anti-vaping group at Midland High. And the goal of this group is to bring awareness about the dangers of vaping to our youth. Taylor, uh, I understand, is also quite an athlete. She is one of this year's captains of the varsity volleyball team and also a captain of the varsity softball team. She's a member of the National Honor Society, as well as an active, active member of a, in a local organization called Self Love Beauty, an organization with the mission to educate, invest, and impact individuals on the importance of self-love and confidence in order to empower them to be the best versions of themselves. So I'll leave with this quote and congratulations, Taylor. Mrs. Riel and I certainly wish um, we could um, know you better. Taylor is one of the most amazing young people that I have ever been honored to work alongside. She is a positive force with passion, drive, integrity, and she is well aware of her core values and lives them each day. She is an inspiration to all who know her, including adults. We recognize you, Taylor, for your incredible contributions to Midland High in the community we know that you would have been a student of Mrs. Cisco's and that she would have loved you. Congratulations. Congrats, Taylor. <laughs> Hi, I'm Susan. Good evening. I am Jen Coleman, the Naval Academy Blue and Gold Officer for Midland High, as well as a proud graduate of the Naval Academy. It is my distinct pleasure to have the opportunity today to recognize the significant honor Axel Fisher has earned by receiving an appointment to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. This year, Axel was one of approximately 16,000 students from across the country who applied for one of the 1,200 seats in the Naval Academy's class of 2025. The admissions process is unique and requires each student to apply for and receive a nomination usually from a congressman or a senator, complete a thorough medical exam, and successfully pass a physical fitness evaluation, in addition to the usual submission of transcripts, recommendations, and essays. Screening is thorough, with a focus on well-rounded individuals who have demonstrated leadership potential and a willingness to accept responsibility. An appointment to the Naval Academy is equivalent to a full four-year scholarship, including all tuition, room and board, medical and dental benefits, and a monthly midshipman stipend. After completing a four-year curriculum at the Naval Academy, students receive a Bachelor of Science degree in one of 25 majors and earn a commission as an officer in the United States Navy or Marine Corps. Further, Axel would join his brother in service to this great country. Midland High should be very proud of Axel's achievements. And on behalf of the Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, it is my pleasure to present a certificate of appointment to the Naval Academy's class of 2025. Go Navy!